Hello and welcome to war with Epirus in our Sparta campaign in Imperator Rome. Sorry for uh, for the tease in the last episode, but uh, well, we're going to do it now and we're going to go for Achaea. Perfect. All of my vassals will join me. Fuck it, or Gortinia can join as well. Let us. Uh, Alia Heacta Est. Oh god, oh god. Alright, what am I missing here? What did I miss? I can get some papyrus from uh, from from you, there we go. We can get some livestock from uh, you as well. And that's good, right. Let's slow it down, speed forward this war. Let's go. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Let's have a look at the powers. So we've got, that is 40,000, 45. Uh, 60, 62,000. Yeah, he's got more. He, he's definitely got more. <laughs> but Sparta will not be dismayed. We're fighting on our home soil. This is Greece. This is our land. And a bunch of their troops are obviously going to die because these guys are, you know, feudatories. They're over here already. Uh, we've got Invasions from Megara. They are not going to win. We are going to win. It's 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 written in the stars. We've we've got the Rock of Ages after all. It's, it's, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it all. I just I'm I'm gonna have to save my money during this war so I can purchase a mercenary fleet to get to Aegina and uh, the Nestorian League. Right? Yeah, the Nesiotic League. Close enough. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. This is going to be a rough one. My vassals need to group up into one big army. Uh, you know what? Th this guy here? This guy here? Fuck off. Slavery for you, my dude. You don't slander me behind bars. Yeah, look at that. There's like 20, 30,000 there. Perfection. Minor addendum. Of course, they're taking the stability. We don't see any Phrygians crossing here. There's a bunch of Phrygians fighting against... <laughs> Macedon. <laughs> Love it. Ah, well. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. Become friends with the Macedonian Basilius. Uh, yeah, sure. No, I like popularity. Popularity is good. When you have a feudatory swarm, popularity is super, super easy. Where? Yes, Heraclean Path. Army movement speed and local taxes in Elimia. Or I can get three stability and oh god, that's so tempting because money, I mean 190 ducats is awful to lose but 10% morale of armies for the duration of this war as long as the war takes, you know, 10 years. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take some tyranny to sell a bunch of slaves so I don't actually go into debt. So I need 190 ducats. Oh, we don't have too many imprisoned anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to sell into slavery all of these guys. Oh, 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 oh. We cannot unpause yet. Disappeared into obscurity. Yeah, sure. That's what you want to call it. Some of these can't be sold. Oh, no. Grandchild of the primary heir. I'm going to release you then. Army maintenance cost, that's good. We're about to get the war goal anyway, so that's fine. And Gortania is looking like a very good uh, distraction. Natural population growth, okay, that's fine. That is probably the best one to have happen. But if, <laughs> level 15 general with 36,000, I'm totally fine with this. I wonder are any of those mercenaries. Uh, army... Em Lloyd and not hostile. No? Uh, Phrygia's got some mercs. But yeah, that level 15 looks natural. He is the general of the first Stratus, a Tegean minor character. What a boss. What an actual boss. 
Warm period as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Hell yes. Uh, I knew there was something I wanted to make sure of. We got the new Macedonian uh, governor and we forgot to check policies. But we've done it now. Uh, Moesia got out of that war fairly lightly. They're being pretty badly beaten up. Let's get uh, this Calyxius Ike die. Alexandros, yeah, I, I don't know where Phrygia went. Uh, not Phrygia, uh, uh, Pyrrhus. He kind of disappeared into obscurity as well. I don't even know if there's a way that I could find him. The, the naval forces here are really scary as well. There's a lot of them. You're landing in the very undefended plains of Thessaly, which is annoying. But I'm going to finish this siege, and then I'm going to go and kill the Aeolian army. I'm going to take the money. Do I want cruel? Not really. Yeah, not until I I need the money. Let's now force march up here. Can't let him just ravage undefended around here. We need a fort in this area, to be honest. It's too easily attacked. Uh, probably Pagasai is going to get one. Uh, let's start building it now, actually. I'm sure this war is going to take a while. We've now got Athens as well. They're going to go for Megara. That's fantastic. But yeah, Pagasai is going to defend everything here. It's going to defend the entire area. Uh, actually, they could get to Dion and then down here. Dion might be somewhere that I would want to uh, fortify hills. We'll see. I don't want you to go out the marsh. Ah, fuck it, you can stay there. Gold hills, anyway. Easy victory. Third. Ah, oh, stack wipe as well. Got to love it. Yeah, do you want to go and siege Megara, perhaps? We've also sieged Chalkis. Miraculous recovery for, I guess, my son? Yeah, the primary heir. And you are my secondary heir. Uh, we'll get you married. No, we won't. My ruler is living so long, it's fantastic. Purely because he's so good. But yeah, let's get all our land back here. We've been lucky so far. No big invasions. And now let's go for Megara. The Skyrus as well that I want to take. I also want to take Rodope. Although Rodope is not in Greece. It's in Thrace. But Skyrus is a target. So is the Nesiotic League. As long as... Um... Phrygia don't make Gortina a vassal of theirs, then we're we're good there. I will probably end up trying to piece out Cyrenaica separately at some point. But yes, we're gonna go grab this. I don't think I'm ever gonna do this. Even though even if I do get all of the things for it, reforming Alexander's Empire of Sparta, I, I just don't agree with. I don't think it should be possible. It's uh it's not very fitting in with uh, the story of our nation. So has Phrygia been attacked by anyone else? I'd love it if Egypt were to attack him. At the moment he's going after Lichyan. Yeah, good job. Don't don't try and get back, you know. The Central Delta, or the Eastern Delta, or Philistia. Three really, really good provinces. Um, not such a good province, but you shouldn't have this either. Just uh, just do nothing, I guess. Um, marriage broke down again. So let's just marry Sostrate, uh, Kilistratid. Blended. I don't want any more kids, so you know, that suits me just fine. I get this siege. Um, I'm going to need to... I don't want, actually want to hire a, a fleet. What I want is a couple of Liburnians. I'd love to build them in the same sea zone. There we go. And we're also going to build... How many cavalry do you have? Four. Perfect. I'm going to build two light cavalry. 
These guys are going to go and siege the islands that I can't get to. Although this one, I'm, mm, it's Naxos. That's going to be annoying. I need to bring my entire fleet here. Phrygians are deciding to come to my nation. The Idol of Ambracia. Again, we've, we've read this before. If you want to read it, then pause the video now. Uh, but I can either lose manpower, uh, gain war exhaustion, gain 20 stability, or we can get... We could lose the Rock of Ages. Oh, I hate both of these options. I'm I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this one. I can't lose the morale of armies. It's permanent. So it must be 93 stability. My God. Uh, we're gonna go with some discipline this time. Actually, is there any laws now that we got a fuck ton of stability? Do I want to change any laws? I do like the idea of more discipline. Get that one, let's get that one, and let's get nobility admission law. So now we have 5% discipline and monthly military experience. We've now got 15% extra commerce income. Loyalty of generals goes down, but loyalty of governors goes up. And then to balance that in the taxation laws, we've got exemption for nobility, meaning my army costs less, my generals get more loyal, and governors get less loyal. So these are completely balanced, perfectly happy with that. Um, but we will be making quite a bit more money. 777, we'll check that in just a moment, and I accidentally clicked there when I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, as soon as the monthly tick happens, we'll go and check our income again. We were at 777. Also, where is this fleet going? Stacking of Megara, let's get the money. 777 changes it in 938, and that's only going to become more and more um, apparent and big. Uh, the longer it goes on. Where are you going? Are you just going to sit there like a tool? Also, where is Phrygia going? I don't know why he's going over here. It's pretty well defended. And Brachia should... I mean, it's it's the best place for the... For the... Provincial capital, I think. Just, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Korkira wouldn't be a bad place either. I mean, he could be go being stupid and going all the way up here. We've also got some Megarans. Let's, um... Let's sit here. Let's get our army and sit here. They are visible. They shouldn't be. Alright, he is going all the way up in the north. We're going to force march. And he's, he's probably going to get caught in Cleodana. Oh, really? No. Yeah, you're going to go to Cleodana. You can then only go to Epidamnus. So we're going to go to Epidamnus. And then to Cleodana. That should be a stack wipe. New Hierophant. Uh, I guess we'll go with you to stop the problems. This fleet can merge. They're eventually going to go to Aegina. But yeah, if we go here, then he's stuck. He can't retreat uh, because we're in the way. But yeah, that's that's going to be an easy stack wipe. We're going to have K, but worse than our troops. If I do this, level 12, hell yes. Oh, but I can't get up here because it's Macadon. Fuck. Um, you're moving to Halos. Can I get there first? Probably not. Uh, it's too late now, though. You're going to get there 17th. I'm going to get there on the 20th. Okay, I need a, a general. Guess we'll go with Siege Ability Guy. Actually, no, that was probably a bad idea, because the other one's probably got bonuses. We're being flanked, and we have the wrong tactic. But our troops are better than theirs. It's not going to be enough. All right, retreat, Delphi. That didn't work. But this will. This should be a stack wipe. Massively outclassed. I have a plus two from that, a plus two from the mountain. 
And he also crossed a river. Fantastic. His army is wiped. Now, you need to go and de defeat that. This fleet, I'm going to need to sneak to Megara. Somehow. <laughs> We can have it dock in Chalkis first. Nope, 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 back to Lamia. Let's try that again. Shit. Horse march, go kill that. We've also got some invasions happening in the south of Epirus. Should be able to deal with that as well. Try this again. Only two ships, man. You shouldn't need to bother with it. Alright, perfect. You get to Megara. Uh, we killed the army. Let's now move on the Ionian army. We're going to go get Aegina now. So, hop on the boats. Boats come out. Army gets on the island. Boats dock. You're going to have that fight. I need to join in there. Untying Devotion, more stability. I like it. That's farmland, so we're going to go and immediately go there as well. Port your army and stack wipe 10,000 more men. Fantastic. Now my army needs to come over here. He's got another 9k. Yeah, we need to go up here. At some point, we're going to need to siege back what we've lost. Up on the boats, bring him here. Attack that. It's planes. We should be able to kill this easy. Yep. Yeah, you're going to try and siege Pella. I can't allow that. I mean, there's a bunch of dudes here. I should be getting, like, Azania, Tegia. You should desiege this stuff. I need to be able to tell my vassals what I want them to do. And I'm just not able. He's now level 16. Jesus fuck. Just a moment. Right, hang on. Um, if we were to look at my religion... Can't change the deity. Can I see? Can't see uh, Alexander. I think I have to be Alexander the Great. Oh, sorry, I have to be Egypt or own the, the tomb of Alexander to um, see what his stats are, which is a shame. Except. That and it looks like you're about to die as well because we're f we're gonna get you. Uh, this is Crateros uh, Antigonid. He is the ruler of Phrygia. <laughs> It'd be great if I could like stack wipe him and take him into my custody. Uh, donate to the poor. Hundred ducats for six stability. No, lose oh, popularity. Uh, so Sastre Calistrid gives me an extra five percent morale. I love it. Which I use to great effect to destroy the Phrygian army. Yeah, the big problem as what we're what we're facing right now is we just can't be everywhere at once. That's the it's kind of the only problem we're facing. Um, I think we're gonna go and try and get Skyrus. So unless he lands like 50k on top of my face, I have a feeling that we are strong enough to defeat any army that comes at us. Lose five stability. 
Yay. Uh, let's stab a pig. It's 20k. He's probably going up here again. And it's now Spalyrus Heliodorid. Uh, that was a silly move. Oh, he's gone to take back Aegina. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, we're gonna go get Skyrus, though. Ooh, splitting up your fleet. Now that is interesting. I can afford to get a couple of pirate navies. If only you didn't have such bloody strong navies. Be able to crush you, then go to Skyrus. Food wise, looking perfect. Fantastic. Don't suppose anyone wants to attack Phrygia. This is all me. Alright, so hopefully we can get the siege done quick. How is my ruler doing? He's gonna be dead soon. Diphtheria's fucking him over. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Pointless doing a triumph for him. Lost force, let's grab... Fuck it, you. Uh, new invention. I don't feel like I need anything in specific yet. I don't know what the Phrygian fleet's doing. Gortina is probably Gortina's capital, so he could make Gortina a vassal. Which would suck, because I'd then need to go and take Gortina from him. I think what I can do, though, is a couple of mercenary fleets. More than a couple. I mean, we make ten ducats a month. Where we're going to go for a navy. Ten ducats is not going to get as near to the amount of ships that he has. Plus, there'd be worse ships. Uh, there's no point in arranging a marriage. You're going to be dead in a couple of years. But it's good that we're getting Skyrus. That is an important island and port that we're not going to have to worry about anymore. You're never going to give me... Actually, he would give me military access. I could go siege all this. He could absolutely get it back without any difficulty whatsoever. Which is annoying, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And this navy is probably going to drop him back up at Epidamnus again. I'm going to have to worry about that. Oh, this is my dead ruler. And now we've got Archaeus the first Aegeid. Alright, you've inherited your father's war. Let's see what we can do about it. Also, is there any marriageable women's? Uh, no. No, there isn't. Uh, let's have a look at characters. Not imprisoned. I want to sort by female, and I want to sort by age, and I want to look at people like you. You're probably married. Yep, you did get married. Yeah, they get married as soon as they fucking come of age. So, there's you. You're my daughter. Never mind. Uh, you at 12 years old. You're, like, the best option right now. So we're going to star you and look again in a few years. Also, that means I need a general. Oh, God, I don't have anyone good, though. Like, have discipline. Best I got. It is the best I got. We're down by four martial over what we were just a moment ago. But the Siege of Skyrus is one. And now you need to force march up to Cleodna. Because that's where he's going. We know that. Alright, well, uh, with that, I am going to take a short break here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think I am going to be able to beat the fridge? I think I got a decent enough chance. Uh, it's it's going to be rough, but... We'll see what we can do. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.